Welcome everyone. Thank you to Hank's Corner and his video titled WTF Chili Con Con Artist aka Delete Laws. Here's your sign. This is a first for me. Chili playing around in traffic doing an audit of a recent change in the direction of a road. He is in Sunnyvale, Texas, and apparently his and others' GPSs were not updated to the recent road change. Due to that recent change, a police officer from Sunnyvale was out doing an awareness check for motorists. And we all know how Chili loves and respects police officers, right? Well, this will be fun, so buckle up and let's get moving. Got it. So make sure you go that way. Make sure you go that way. You, you got you got a cop down here giving people tickets. Did he give you a ticket too? Did he pull you over? I was following my GPS as well, but I saw it was a one-way street. Now they they could have stopped you right there. Didn't they could have stopped you and just given you a, a direction. It changed. It, changed. it changed. changed. They changed the flow of traffic, and now he's giving them tickets. Who changed the direction of the street, Chili? They is such a vague term. Go to my channel, Delete Laws, and I'll put every delete write that. You know who I am? So go to I'll help you guys fight this ticket. I, I know I'm good. I can fight This is why people hate cops. So it's the police who changed the direction of the road and put up signs showing that fact so they could give them what? Warning tickets? I know. I love cops. You, you, lo you said you love cops? I, I do. Did he just entrap you and give you a ticket? He did. This particular so this particular one trapped you, but, 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 but the cops are good. I'm sorry. No, they're all the same. They're, they're all the same. And here we see Chili saying entrapment because, as he stated, all cops are the same. But is it really entrapment? Or is it that the motorists were relying on their out-of-date GPS units and weren't paying attention to the posted signs? See, see, this guy is the same garbage man as the rest of them. He's just as big of a piece of trash as every other cop. This guy right here. See, no, no. No, now you're going to give this guy a ticket too? How long has the sign been changed? How long has the sign been changed? Well, since changes in roads are the responsibility of the city, county, and or state, I would think Chile should contact the city first to see when it was changed. But standing in the road being a dick by yelling at a police officer is much more appealing to him at the moment. Go that way. Go that way. He's going to give you a ticket. He's gonna, my, my GPS took me this way too. But this is a tyrant. This is a, 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 a revenue collector. Why don't you put a sign there? He's Better a warning ticket than an auto accident with possible injuries or fatalities from a driver who wasn't paying attention to their surroundings and signage. But Chili doesn't care about that. It's all about that tyrant collecting revenue. Go that way. Go that way. He's going to give you a ticket. He's gonna, my, my GPS took me this way too. But this is a tyrant. This is a, 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 a revenue collector. Why don't you put a sign there? Here's your sign. He did. But we will see what that sign says later in the video. He's going to give you a ticket. He's going to give you a ticket. This is now a one-way street. Yeah, it's now a one-way street. Did you know that? See, this is, this is why people hate cops. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, but there is a sign. In fact, there is more than one. My oh my, these drivers really don't pay attention. So did you get a ticket too, sir? For... I'm just waiting to get it. It's bullshit. You're waiting to get a ticket. I'm coming this way. I'm coming this way in months. Right. I see all these cars and flashing lights. I didn't see a sign that had been here for the 20 years I've lived here. 20 years you've lived here. Yeah. But why, did, why didn't he just put a sign that says One Way Street now? I, I wish they would have. Right, but they well, didn't. I guess there is, like, right up there. I don't know. I can't even see it. So now the driver says, I guess there is, but he can't even see it? Convenient, don't you think? Let me guess. You support police. <laughs> Garbage. Not anymore. I mean, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. And now, I'm not going to get to go back that way and wait traffic for another 45 minutes. Oh, so, so, oh right. So you have to go that way to wait in traffic. To go down there to sit in that line. How does this help anything? This doesn't help anything. This makes people distrust police. What does supporting the police have to do with the road change? And if the driver has to wait at the light, too bad, so sad. God forbid the police do their due diligence to make sure people drive safely due to the road change. Such tyrants. Did, did you know this road had changed to a one-way street? No. Did you have any idea? No, no idea. Were you following your GPS? Yeah. I was following my GPS too. Well, I would think Chili should call up his GPS provider and yell at them for not updating his GPS 
with the road change. I mean, they really dropped the ball there. Sorry, I'm sorry. My, my channel is called Delete Laws. I'll help you fight the ticket. Uh, go to my channel, Delete Laws. I'll put all you guys together. It's Delete Laws. We're live right now on YouTube. Delete Laws. Delete Laws with a Z. Shameless plug. Yep. We're live right now, so you can watch, you can watch yourself be pulled over for no reason. Good job, Chili. Have them get on their cell phones while in their cars so they can get another ticket. Wait, isn't that a begin one-way sign? Nothing, nothing. This is, this is the reason why people hate cops. And now he's just sitting here waiting to get more people. Can I get your name and badge number, sir? Is it Scumbag405? That would be your new TikTok name, Chili. Sorry, but I had to since Chili keeps being a dick. You set them up for a traffic stop, you scumbag. Chili shows ignorance is really hate-filled bliss. You set them up to do this. You set them up. You change the road and then you're ticketing people like a scumbag. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. This is why people hate cops. This right here. Sunvale Police Department. That's Sunnyvale, not Sunvale. What they did is, I was following my GPS. The road here says one way. Interesting. My GPS told me to take a left. Of course it did, because it's not updated. Why you stop this bullshit? <sighs> a few moments later. You're giving people tickets. Why don't you go stay at the place where they turn then? I'm a citizen. I'm filming this. I'm the press. Go ahead. Oh my god, Chili, shut the hell up and let the officer speak. He said he's doing an awareness stop and has to be where the cars are parked. And Chili is by no means the press. He is just some rando guy with a camera and a YouTube channel, white knighting because it makes him feel important. I'm out here as a presence showing that this is the wrong way to turn. If you if you would be patient till I get to you, I'm giving everybody warnings. I'm, I'm not giving anybody. Why would you give them a warning? Just go set up over there and block the road. That, no, the traffic the traffic signal is there already. Well, here's the point. Well, you I, I, I don't understand. understand the road. Road. When I got to the intersection, I see the cars and all the lights. That's all I'm looking at. I didn't see the sign. I get that. I understand. So from Chili's viewpoint, the drivers are not at fault for not seeing the signs that are in plain view. The police are supposed to block the road so drivers don't turn left. And who cares about those who need to use the road who are going the correct way on it? Let me ask you a couple questions, sir. So did, 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 did he offer you a warning or a ticket? Warning. Okay, so he's going to... A warning? That tyrant! Give you, but why not just go set up right there and let people know that they can't turn right there? Why should he when there is signage? Signage that is the driver's responsibility to pay attention for. Twelve seconds later. There's a stop sign. They have a car coming in with its lights blazing. They, they, have, a, they have a cop car. <laughs> He's got his emergency siren on. Well, duh. Thanks for stating the obvious. Oh, I'm glad he's going somewhere else. So, this is the stop sign right here. They could simply put a sign here that says, this is a one-way street. Instead of that, they're physically pulling people over. And let's be honest, they're pulling... Look, he's got a Back the Blue sticker in the back of his truck. Oh, no. Not a Back the Blue sticker. <laughs> da, da, da. 346 minutes later. Now he's giving directions like he's a friend. Like he's a friend. You're in this jackpot because of him, but now he's your buddy giving you directions. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. You're such a nice guy, Ayala. I wish you could be in my family. You're a scumbag, dude. You're a total scumbag. You set up to pull people over. I stopped your scam. Your, your grandkids will deny you were in their family. And now you're a nice guy. You're going to help her out after you make sure she didn't have any warrants. You're a scumbag, dude. You're a total scumbag. You really are. You really are. You really are a scumbag, brother. You're the lowest form of human being. And now just one more car for you guys to help them get out. You're such nice guys. You didn't set up this whole scam, did you? You didn't set up the whole scam. But now you're going to help him get out of his car. You're such a nice scam artist. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Beautiful! <laughs> Have you guys heard this? 
this one? <laughs> oh! <laughs> and who knows a scam's better than chili? But in this case, it was an awareness stop because the road had just been changed to a one-way street. You're so nice. And people call me a scam artist, people call me a grifter. That's what a grifter looks like with your money. This guy's set up to pull people over when your GPS tells you to take a left here. The GPS doesn't realize this is a one-way street because they just changed it. Yeah. I mean, you want to say anything to the public? Thousands of people are watching. No way. You guys want to say, Ayala, do you want to say anything? The public, there's thousands watching. Do you want to say anything to the public, Ayala? I mean, I mean, can I get your bad name and badge number? What's your badge number? 111. So that's, that's scumbag, scumbag Ayala. Badge number 111. Boy, good, good thing for this guy, huh? Look at him. He's a real champion. He's a real winner. This guy right here. He did this to people and he did it to a half a dozen people. And you wonder why we hate your guts, dude. You wonder why you're so hated. Scumbag. Why don't, why don't you put a sign right there, Ayala? Put a sign right there. Scumbag. And guess what? They just kicked rocks. I just sent them packing. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready! <laughs> of course Chili did because he's such a big, tough alpha male who kicks butts and takes names. <laughs> Sorry. Ayala 111 at Sunnyvale. Why did, let me ask you guys a question before we end this cast. Let me ask you a question, okay? Let me show you guys something. They should have to wear signs and just say, I'm stupid. This strip of road is about, I'm going to say it's maybe 50 feet from here to here. That's how big this, this, this strip is, okay? Now, let me show you something. Right here, this stop sign, I can walk it. I can walk it as I talk it. This right here, you got to go that way. You got to go that way. Right here is where they take an illegal left-hand turn and they don't know they're doing it. And then they... Here's your sign. Go right there and they take a right... But now, oh, she almost went the wrong way. Because this just became a one-way street. They have a sign there, but your GPS is telling you, your GPS is literally telling you to take a left. It's such a scam. You're an idiot! And I just ran that filthy pig off from a scam. What a scam. See, what they should have done, just so you know, what they should have done is simply placed a sign right here. Because look, the road even veers off to the left. Can you guys see it? The road veers off to the left. You see that? Because it used to be a two-way street. I am sure the state of Texas is so sorry it didn't consult Chile before changing the street. You know, to make sure everything is absolutely perfect for him. So when these cars come down the street right here, they think they're supposed to veer to the left. However, this painted line tells drivers different. The road is shaped that way. Now, there's a sign there that says one-way sign. I'm pointing at it for the five cars behind me. You see the one-way street sign right there? But these cars here, typically, what they would have done is they would have taken a left right here, but now there's a new one-way sign there that they, they aren't used to seeing. They didn't know this was a one-way street. That's usually what happens with street changes. There's an adjustment period, which is why the officer was there doing an awareness stop. But he can't stay out there all day to make sure people see the signs and go the right way. Later that same evening. Okay, so let's go in and have a conversation with these guys and see. Bring your trifold here. Yeah, sure, sure. This is, uh, looks like it's got a door here. Welcome back, Captain Obvious. Okay. Okay, got a little waiting room here. Cool, it's dark in here right now. But let's see if we can, uh, oh, there's a, please, oh. Please ring the service and they got a blue stripe there. That is not a blue stripe. It is a blue arrow showing people where to go for service. Chili's hate boner for the blue line has lasted more than four hours. I think he needs to seek mental health attention. So, I don't know how cool that is. I find blue arrows cool, you blue arrow hater. There's a man with a camera in the lobby. So there's that. Yeah. Let's take a look at it. Oh, would you take a look at this? Take a look at that. Take a look at that. The absolute desecration of the American flag. For that to be a desecration of the flag, it has to be an actual American flag fashioned to look differently. 
which it is not. I mean, look how they took their time to put shells in there and stuff, and then they put this blue stripe in there. Look at that. So the Sunnydale Police Department supports a gang. It's, it's, they have gang symbols in here. He's a smig. <laughs> hey. Amazing. And then this is the, the Sunnyvale town logo right here. You see that? That's their logo. How nice is that? And then they even have a rug that they made. It says Chief, the state of Texas, Sunnyvale Police Department. So they put quite a bit of money into the trinkets and stuff here at Sunnyvale Police Department. So a logo and a rug are trinkets? Chili keeps displaying that hate boner he has for the police. It is quite disturbing. They put quite a bit of money into their own self, don't they? I mean, this is pretty nice. You can have a little table over here where you can have a seat, you know, just right, right below the Sunnyvale, Texas police sign right there. It's so nice, isn't it? Oh my God, the sheer opulence and lavishness of a small table below a logo of the police. That police station is just flaunting its wealth all over the place. And then, but then this one right here, compliments of Sunnyvale Elementary School first grade class. So your kid was indoctrinated. Did anybody's parents, anybody's parents sign off on this? I wouldn't have signed off on this for my kid to create this. Gotta love when the indoctrinated bring up kids being indoctrinated. We all hope Chili never procreates with anyone and has a child. And these are fingerprints of all the kids. Do you see that? How morbid is that? These are fingerprints. These are the kids' fingerprints. How morbid is that? Um, fingerprints, police station, get the connection. I actually think it's quite clever. I just realized those are fingerprints. I rang the doorbell again. Authorized personnel only. I mean, it's all fingerprints. I'm not kidding. It's fingerprints. And by the way, the first graders couldn't have done it wrong because they put their fingerprints on a strip. And then they cut the strip out, so you need to go over the strip, it'll still be a perfect strip of fingerprints. I mean, they have kids' fingerprints on with the blue stripe. That's, those are fingers. It's pretty incredible. Oh, shoot. Whoops. Dang it. I accidentally knocked something off the, the counter here. I didn't mean to knock that off, but I did. Are they going to have anybody come talk to me, or? Is anybody here? We just want to file a complaint. We just want to file a complaint is all we want to do here. Anybody here? Hello, it's the public. You know, I got a camera running here with, you know, people. So, so I, I want to talk to you guys. I want to ask you about the intersection of uh, Watha and uh, the 80. <laughs> okay. We are committed to the respect for constitutional rights in the performance of our duties. Our success is based on the respect our communities and respect to members of the community observed towards... Well, did you see this? Oh my God. Read this carefully. Our success is based on the respect we give the communities and the respect the members of the community observe towards law enforcement. They demand that you respect them here. Nowhere in that is the word demand. It is a mutual respect that is being talked about. But we all know respect is a foreign concept to Chile. To this end, we shall exercise our sworn duties, responsibilities. To this end... To, to, to the end that you have to respect them, and then you come here to complain, and they don't open the door. Why don't they open the door? Let's see. Sunnyvale has a populace of about 7,400 people. 
My guess is the entire police force, including support staff, is no more than 10 to 20 people, if that. And not all are on duty at the same time. So I would think that those on duty are probably busy with more important police matters. Why don't you open the door? Why don't you open the door? There's cameras on you guys everywhere, but you, you guys can't face a camera. What, what if I put, I'll put my firearm away, then we'll see if you guys come out. Chili was actually wearing his firearm, which is legal in public areas in city buildings like police stations. Firearm, put away. There you go. Now I have no firearm. Now maybe you guys will come out and talk. Okay. I, I have no more firearm. No, no more firearm. Now you guys can come out and talk and not be scared. Much, much later. Okay. So let's see. Oh, it dials 911. I have to now inform her that this is not a 911 call. I'm at the Sunnyvale Police Department. I was trying to get uh, service here. Ma'am? I'm at the Sunnyvale Police Department. There's no cops here now? Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. So there's, there's, there's cops on the way here. Okay. Then I will sit down here and charge the phone for a second and have a conversation with these cops. And here's the forney cop. Is he going to pull into there or is he going to pull over here? Oh, he's going to pull here. Okay. No, it's not a forney cop. It says it's a satana. Set, 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 You're the same one. I'm here to file a complaint on you. Okay. I mean, you should have done your job. Can you get your name and badge number out? Uh, Stovall 115. So did you know there's a problem there? Do I know? Watch, watch your hand on your gun. I put my gun away because you, you were scared. No, that's your right. You said you were scared, though. So I took my, right. my gun away. Would you like to complain for? I, we I, just don't I, have anybody that works on Can I tell you what I'd like you to do? Because there's thousands of people watching. Huh? I'd like you to go put a one-way sign. I can't hear you. I'd like Sorry. you to put a one-way sign up at the corner of Watha and 80. I would like for them to put one up. So too. why don't you just take initiative and do it? I can't put it up. What it has to about? go through the town. People are still making an illegal left. It's not illegal. It's only been there two weeks. Yeah. It it's is, a public it safety concern. You, sure. you, you didn't sign up to be a law enforcer. You signed a peace officer's agreement. That's correct, yeah. Right. You, you, they don't sign law enforcement. They sign peace officers. Yep. So your job is to protect Keep the public. The peace. Keep yeah. the peace. So what you should have done is put a sign there or put your car there and directed traffic. Yep. I get it. Yeah. And that's it? Yep. Well, I showed up as a secondary officer, so, you know. But you're not a secondary officer. You're a man. Yeah. You are a man. And well, you're a, you're a with? stout young man. So I want you to fix it. I want people not to go to a one-way street. Me too. So then why don't we fix it? Can so, I help you? Uh, yeah. If you can go down to the town and get them to put that sign there, it would be wonderful. But there's so. a problem there. The, the people are making turns there, yeah, that I they're understand. going into one-way traffic. Chili doesn't think it's the driver's responsibility to check their surroundings and drive accordingly. Apparently, the police are supposed to add yet another sign, which is the state's responsibility, so people won't turn left anymore. The mind boggles at that logic. They're literally going into one-way traffic. Yeah. You guys should address that issue. Right, so Tech Stop put up their signs? Right. So for us to get a sign approved there. You could just put a cardboard sign that says one-way street. Yeah. I don't know that I could do that. What Wait, why does Chili not put up a cardboard sign saying one-way street? I mean, I don't think there would be laws against it since it is a one-way street. What? Why are you running my plates? What, what, what right do you have to run my plates? 16, California tag of 8 Charles Mary William. What a joke. 5, 8 Charles Mary William, 315. Hey, Officer Shepard, Bezimer 116. How you doing today, sir? Pretty good, Officer Shepard. Hey, so I'm running your tags in, in the public, okay? And it's our uh, uh, typical procedure to run tag when we encounter people. Anyone else like this officer? He seems to be a no-nonsense kind of guy, not the tyrant Chili would say he is. 
you can get a sign up there, man, so the public doesn't go the wrong way on a one-way street. There's plenty of signs posted, sir. But there's not. They're still making the one the one way turn. Right. You ran my tag so you could try to arrest me for something or try to get me what, in trouble for something. You're not even detained. What would I arrest you for, sir? You're right I'm not detained. Detainment's a bullshit thing called yep. Terry versus Ohio. It's yes, completely unconstitutional. Okay. But you came to run my plates when I came here to complain about the cops. Right. And as I was explaining to you, sir, it's our typical procedure. But that procedure is illegal. It's not illegal. It's unconstitutional. It's in the public. Just as you can record me in public, I can You trying to run data on me mm -hmm. to try to gain my identity or find out yeah. about me is not constitutionally correct and it's going to get changed okay well until it gets changed if the tags in public and i can read it i can run it so that's what they, that's what they do to people they run tag readers and then it, it, this in florida if you have a felony he plant drugs in your car chili is bringing up florida because he's finding anything he can to push his all cops are bad narrative oh by the way i lived in florida for five years during a traffic stop I was put into the back of a police car with handcuffs on behind my back and was nearly arrested due to a mistake by the dispatcher at the sheriff's station with my driver's license number. Though the cuffs were uncomfortable, they were by no means painful. Thankfully, a rookie was being trained and I was let go with profuse apologies and a police escort home to make sure I got there okay. No drugs were planted in my car and nothing was done to me. Yeah. Yeah, I have a YouTube channel. I'm, I'm here to sue the Forney City Police Department. Forney? Forney City Police Department. We're suing the Forney City Police Department because they violated they someone's rights. Though. Right, and you guys, I just saw you. Why did I all uh, set up to just pull people over there? He was giving people tickets before I got there, and then he started giving them warnings when I got there. Why I would you do I that? I was the one passing out the warnings. You were passing yeah. out warnings. The other guy was giving tickets. Oh, okay. Um, the reason being, we had a disturbance call to go to, so there was something a little more so, important than dealing with YouTube and dealing with traffic. No, this isn't YouTube, buddy. I'm not a YouTuber. Get it straight, Jack. Okay. I'm a game changer. Ridiculous. Okay. I'm not a YouTuber. I didn't join YouTube. People follow me from platform to platform mm -hmm. as I get kicked off of them because I'm going to change this bullshit system. Right. Okay. I have every right to say whatever I want. I put my firearm away so you wouldn't be scared. Well, I appreciate it. And I'm sure uh, you're probably still scared of me, as you probably should be in a real-life situation without a badge and gun on. I told you, all of my critics, I told you all that I was the greatest of all time. You're a coward. You're an absolute coward. And you come up to me and run my place as though you're trying to get me for criminality. Lost her. Lost her I don't care. Answer. I don't care. I'm okay. directing to you. Okay. Man to man, me okay. to you. Right, and of course you're going to walk because you're a pansy. So? Out of shape pansy. Badge and gun doesn't do you any good when you're that out of shape, fatty. Get yourself in shape if you're going to be a cop. So? You make me sick. Anyways. Sneak <laughs> Um. Do you want the complaint form or what? What can I help you I with? don't want to complain on you, man. You're a man. I'm not trying to just mess with your life. I understand, but I it's actually care. One of your rides, Can so. you imagine? It's not just about YouTube. I care about public safety. Could and you imagine just for a second if I put this away? I don't give a shit about this. I actually care about law and order. I actually care about justice and truth. Could you just imagine that? Oh my God. Did Chili have to point the camera at his crotch? I'm so sorry, everyone. Could that be, oh, and yeah, this so. coward comes over here? He doesn't come over here to say he's gonna help me. He comes over to run my license plate. Well, besides that. That was some bullshit, man. Besides that. He's trying to investigate me for doing what? For stepping up. Besides that. You have a job, right? Yeah. I have a job too. Point, yeah. Can you believe that I was supposed to go do my job right now and instead I'm here with you? I was literally doing my job today. To go to Forney? I'm going back to Forney, yeah. yeah, right now. So, um, as far as the complaint goes. Dude, complaining on you is not gonna do any good. I wanted to see a chief, I wanted to see a lieutenant, someone who would send someone over there with a sign yeah. to stop the idea that you could get into a head-on collision because your navigation, just so you know, tells you to go left. Yeah. The navigation tells you, go left here. I, I'm from California, I don't even look at anything. I just follow the navigation. Yeah. I am a Californian and I never blindly follow GPS navigation. That is the most stupid thing a driver can do because those navigation systems are not updated regularly. Like Mr. Magoo. Yeah. So why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? You. Well, that's above me, man. I why are you doing this job? You, you, you seem like a pretty decent human being. Why are you doing this? Yeah, I love it, man. Um, you love this? Oh yeah, absolutely. The handcuffing of people? <laughs> you know, Chili has this preoccupation with handcuffs. It makes me wonder if he didn't have some bedroom mishap and was stuck in them on purpose or for too long. Hey, I don't kink shame, but he seems scared of them, which is why he brings them up a lot. Okay, so what can I help you with? You can give me a lieutenant or someone that can actually do something here. So? So we can get a sign put up there. So hang on. I'm not here to fight with you, man. No, I understand. So the only supervisor we have here right now yeah. is Corporal Ayala. The, I, uh, the same one who set up the, the, the trap to get people tickets? That's our supervisor right now. <laughs> so as far as the lieutenant and the chief, I actually will... Is that tomorrow? What day is it? Thursday? Yeah, they'll be here Friday. I don't know about the chief. Today's Wednesday, isn't it? I got Thursday. Is it Thursday? That's what I got on the watch. Did I miss a day? Maybe. Uh, That's what I got on the watch. So uh, the watch, the watch says what, uh, what I live my life by, so. And here's the third cop for the guy with the camera. 
Here's the here's the third one. This is the third cop for the guy with the camera just registering a complaint. My goodness, Chili has that First Amendment auditor line down, doesn't he? It has absolutely nothing to do with the camera. So just a complaint. complaint yeah, give me the complaint form for Ayala. Right. But he's the supervisor. Th that's yeah, the joke here. That's the joke of cops. This guy, the one who set up I'm the trap, really he's the guy. The he's the guy who is the supervisor. So he's died in the wool ruined. He's blue to the core. He doesn't care about you. He cares about his policies and procedures. Why didn't you set up a sign there that says you can't go t can't turn here? I didn't set up a sign. Why didn't you? I didn't set up. A sign. I know you didn't. Why didn't you? People are still going left on a one-way street because the navigation tells them to go left there. Because those drivers are idiots who don't read the signs in front of them. Another sign will do nothing because they are used to turning left. Chile may be concerned for their safety, but at the end of the day, drivers are going to do what they do. And unfortunately, it may end up in severe injury or death. Do you, are, do you want to file a formal, formal complaint? Is that the what case kind of man are you? No, I'm, no, 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 no. What question. kind of man are you? No, no, what kind of man are you? Okay. No, what kind of man are you? you I'm sitting here, there's thousousands of people watching. Do you I'm, I'm asking you, do you why don't you put a sign there do to you protect want to the people? Or not? Is that what you are? You're a drone? Okay. You're a drone, dude. You're the same as everybody else. You're, the, you're a waste. you want to complain, we're going to get you a complaint. You're a waste, dude. I think you're pathetic. I think you're not a man. You have those Samoan tattoos. Where's your pride? I know a lot of Samoans. They're very prideful men. You walking around with those Samoan tattoos on should be removed. The guys I know have real honor, real pride. They're really proud of who they are. Are those Samoan? No, they're not Samoan. Okay, so they're not. Yeah. It makes sense then. It makes sense that you wouldn't have Samoan tattoos. Yes, there are thousands of watching, you dunce cap. When this airs, 10,000, 20,000 people will watch this, dunce cap. But look at this. Cop car there, cop car there. This cop car pulled up here to and try to intimidate me to run my tags. He walked right up here and ran my tags. And they wonder why we hate them. You wonder why there's people like me who can't stand cops. I mean, hate's a pretty strong word, but it's, yeah, it's right on. It's... What a joke. What an absolute joke. What an absolute joke. I agree with Chili. How he behaves is an absolute joke. What an absolute joke. Of course those aren't Samoan tattoos, because Samoans have pride. I know Samoans. I have a friend in Hollywood who's Samoan, still my friend to this day. Known the guy over 20 years. Oh my God, who the hell cares? I mean, and this, this, this loser, let, let's, let's put him on camera. I mean, like, like this guy's such a loser. I mean, like, if you want to talk about Loserville, let's just, let me just put him on camera here. This is how Chili thinks alpha males should act. He is no alpha male. How you doing? I just said you were the biggest loser here. You, you walked up and just put my tags, ran my tags to try to find something on me. I, I don't break the law. I'm for law and order. Okay, I'm not a sovereign citizen. Do you, do, you know about, do you know about the social contract? Mm -hmm. What social contract? The social contract is how law and order is created. It's called rule of law. Do you know anything about it? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. What is it? Why won't you tell me? Jean-Jacques Rousseau. Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, who is it? You tell me. Who is he? Jean-Jacques Rousseau is an enlightenment thinker who wrote a book called... So you came up here called what? The social contract. contract. I'm just, look, what I'm just proving is that you guys don't know a damn thing about the law. That you're supposed to know the, have the law over me, yet I teach the law and you know nothing about it. Listen to that pridefulness and arrogance. I teach the law and you know nothing about it. So you were here about a traffic complaint on Wapi. I'm here about Ayala and then Ayala comes in and he's the senior commander, officer, whatever military names you guys give each other. I call you Mr. or Man or whatever your name is. Okay. Because you're just a man. You've claimed authority over me, but yet you name the first five. Authority over. Yes, you have. You put on that badge and gun like a clown and you claim to have authority over me. So you came up here about a complaint because of the issue on Wapi. Because, yeah, there should be a sign on Wapi that says, hey, be careful. Don't right, go left here. With me. I'll show you where the I saw the sign, dude. There's not proper signage. The road veers to the left. People going. I have it on video. You can go delete laws and watch all the videos. Here's the sign. So you take no initiative as a man. So, so is the one who makes those signs, and uh, that is a state highway. So then take initiative as a man and go put up a sign that says, "Don't go left here. It's a one-way street. It could be a simple sign. It could be on cardboard." Okay. Here's a novel idea. Why does Chile not do his civic duty? and go put up a sign to add to the already three other signs. Oh my God, that would be so nice of him to do since, you know, he is so concerned about driver's safety and all. But no, he has to bitch and moan and harass police officers to do it instead. 
Well, I have I have uh, the town of Sunnyvale to, to watch after. Oh, you watch so after we, the town of Sunnyvale? So since Didn't you walk up here to run my time. plates, though? You ran up here to run my plates. So so you're watching over Sunnyvale? So as I was saying, since you have so much time to come out here and film the I have so much why, time? Why don't you contact TechStot? TechStot. Okay. Uh, that they need I mean... But you didn't come here to help. You came here to run my to run my plate. You didn't come here to do anything worthwhile. No, they told us there was a citizen up here with a complaint. We came to see the complaint. So you run the citizens' plates when they come in to complain? Yep. Do <laughs> <laughs> you get your name and badge number, sir? What is it? What's your name and badge number? You want to get your name and badge number, sir? No. That's the doofus right there, just sitting there. I asked him his name and badge number, he just wouldn't give it. So in the town of Sunnyvale, maybe you guys should talk to your city council and talk to them about whether or not they should be taking your information if you come to file a complaint on an officer and running your plates. You think that's right? I, got, I actually do have stuff to do. These guys are gonna dick the dog until they dick the dog. And besides that, that piece of junk is blocking the driveway. So that means he has to move his ass. That means he has to move his ass. He has to move, he can't sit there. Because I have to get through. And he doesn't get... Hold on, you're going to see black. Okay. I'm going to go. This is a joke. Filthy pig. Just an absolute filthy pig. Just an absolute filthy pig. I mean, Sunnyvale, Texas, you guys, this is why America is in shambles. You have guys like that who take no initiative, they come off like they're a super G.I. Joe loser, and they offer nothing to our country. They offer nothing. You can't put a sign there and be a man, and be a man, be a real man, and lead, and lead. I thought Chili was this big, tough, alpha male who will meet anyone in a cage, yet he isn't man enough to go and put up a sign himself? How many cars have driven the wrong way on that street while he was complaining to the police? Yeah, he has things to do, though. He can't be bothered with other people's safety. I mean, he has his cell phone in his hand and is taking his eyes off the road periodically to talk to it. It's just frustrating. It's just frustrating. It's just, you know, I have to make sure that I constantly keep the wheels on this car, and that's frustrating, too, because haters can't stand it if you actually create tools to make a living as you continue to fight this battle of oppression and tyranny and absolute dunce caps like those cops right there. Just dunce caps. The cameras are not the problem. The people who make themselves the story and who record themselves making demands of and bullying public servants are the problem. That one cop was actually pretty likable, to be honest. The tall, the tall white guy, he was actually a pretty likable guy. He really was. I mean, in person, he was, he was nice. And, but the other one, the supervisor had set up the speed trap or, the, or the, the trap to get you entrapped. All right, I'm pissed off. I just need to take a second and be pissed off for a minute. All right, I'm ticked off. Well, as the sun sets behind Chili and his rage intensifies, it is time to bid adieu to him once more. Thank you again to Hank's Corner for his video that inspired me to cover this. Go check out his channel if you haven't already. And do all the likey, supporty stuff you all do. You know the drill. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.